Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the balanced snow load, the roof edge load from the overhanging snow, and also draw the snow load diagram. So, the roof snow load. The roof snow load is given as S, which is SG, which is the ground snow load, which we found before as 13.7 kPa. So we found that in the previous video, if I can just show you. So we found 13.7 kPa, times by the C subscript E term, times by mu I. Now, this is from section 4.2.1 on page 13. So if I flip to it for you guys. Okay, we have over here the uh, design snow loads 4.2.1 S equals SG CE mu I. Okay, and that's in KPA. All right, so that's in section 4.2.1, page 13. So all we need to find is C subscript E and mu I. So step one is find the exposure reduction coefficient C subscript E. Now, this is found in section 4.2.2, page 14. So just over the page, let me zoom in for you. Okay, so we have exposure reduction coefficient CE shall be one of these values. We were told in the question, we have a windswept roof. Okay, which means that our CE value is gonna be 0.6 for windswept roof, all right? So C subscript E is 0.6 as we have a windswept roof. Now we need to find the shape coefficient, that's step two, okay, mu subscript I. So if we head across to figure 6.1 on page 25, so if we go to section six of the code, so section six, we're looking at shape coefficients for alpine regions. Now, 6.2 is balanced snow load, 6.3 is mono-pitched roofs, okay? So a mono-pitched roof is like that, it's just got one pitch. And 6.4 is duo-pitched roofs, which looks like that, okay? Which is actually our case here, we have a duo